Another cross-party negotiation session over the administration's five-day workweek bill has fallen through as both the NPP and KMT boycotted the meeting in protest. The opposition party slammed the DPP for strong-arming the bill through an initial review, but the DPP has shrugged off allegations it did any wrong and said it is planning to pass the bill into law at the beginning of next month. DPP lawmaker Tenning was in charge of summoning legislators from each party for a cross-party consultation session on the administration's five-day workweek bill. But the KMT and NPP remain opposed to the DPP's having unilaterally pushed the set of amendments to the Labor Standards Act through an initial committee review on October 5th. The KMT even vowed to boycott any further review of the bill. Because the KMT did not send a representative to the cross-party negotiation session, the meeting was canceled by default. The cabinet earlier said it hoped that the bill could return to the legislature as soon as November 8th for a second round of committee review and a full floor vote to pass it into law and standardize holiday schedules for both public and private sector employees. But the KMT and the NPP both indicated that they would only accept the bill after it was debated in a series of public hearings. The minutes of the initial committee review haven't yet been confirmed, and we didn't even do a substantive review. Under these circumstances, I think that it would be irresponsible to rush through cross-party negotiations. From the very beginning, the members of our caucus have held that the initial committee review was improperly conducted and did not reach a resolution. Without any resolution, how can we enter into negotiations? We don't even know what we're negotiating about. The main opposition party, as well as a new power party, continue to cry foul over the initial review of the law by legislative committee, while the ruling DPP maintains that the process left nothing to be desired.